oxybutynin is one of the medication which is used for the treatment of overactive bladder this is one of the anticholinergic medication that acts as a bladder relaxant however before using this medication you should know few important things like what is its effect on gastric motility how it affects your urinary flow what happens if it is taken in people with GERD what are the interactions how it produces angioedema all such things are essential to know in this video we will cover all interesting points about oxybutynin effect on urinary flow oxybutynin can produce urinary retention it acts as a bladder relaxant therefore it reduces the bladder contractions leading to decreased urinary output this is essential for treating overactive bladder however the decreased urinary volume may be troublesome in people with bladder outflow obstruction in the people with any obstruction in the bladder outflow oxybutynin causes relaxation of the bladder which produces less pressure on urinary outflow this may lead to increased urinary retention that may result in the pain at the lower abdomen or urinary tract you may have weak stream of urine while urinating it also results in the frequent urination which may increase the symptoms of overactive bladder therefore in people with bladder outflow obstruction oxybutynin should be carefully used how is it available oxybutynin is available as tablets for oral purpose and it is also available as a syrup for oral administration it can also be used topically where it is available as a gel as well as transdermal patch in the form of tablets it is available as immediate release as well as extended release tablets the dose may be variable from 5 to 10 mg per day in case of extended release tablets for treating overactive bladder when you are using gel or transdermal patch you have to apply to a dry skin and in case of application of gel you have to avoid the showering for at least one hour following the application the gel can be applied on the abdomen thigh or upper arms however the application site should be rotated for every time and you should avoid the same site on consecutive days in case of transdermal patch one patch should be applied twice per week but you should not cut the transdermal patch that is intended for single use gastrointestinal motility if you have reduced gastric motility or you have any gastrointestinal obstructive disorders again this medication should be carefully used oxybutynin is an anticholinergic agent because of its blocking action on the cholinergic system it can reduce the gastric motility due to this it can increase the gastric retention therefore in people with any decreased intestinal motility or obstructive disorders this gastric retention is more pronounced in such conditions the dose of this medication may be reduced or it may be withdrawn under severe conditions effect of GERD GERD is a gastroesophageal reflux disorder which is associated with gastric acid reflux heartburn difficulty swallowing sore throat and even a chest pain due to acid reflux in people with GERD difficulty swallowing is one of the important symptom which may be complicated by use of oxybutynin oxybutynin can also reduce the GA motility as well as it can also increase the conditions of GERD similarly if you are taking bisphosphonates that are used to treat osteoporosis again they may increase esophagitis which produce difficulty swallowing in such people use of oxybutynin may further complicate the condition therefore if you have any previous history of GERD or if you are using bisphosphonates you should use oxybutynin very carefully xerostomia use of oxybutynin can produce one of the condition called xerostomia leading to dry mouth since oxybutynin is a anticholinergic medication it can block the cholinergic receptors resulting in xerostomia this medication blocks both m1 as well as m3 receptors by blocking these mechanical receptors it can reduce the secretion of saliva from the salivary glands 
leading to dry mouth in the paper. Due to its anticholinergic actions, it can also reduce the gastric motility, leading to constipation. Other side effects like headache, dizziness can also be observed. The dry mouth produced by oxybutynin can be increased by few of the other medications like antihistamines. Normally, antihistamines are used for treatment of allergic conditions or to relieve the symptoms of rhinitis. These antihistamines can also have anticholinergic actions leading to dry mouth and constipation. Therefore, if you are taking oxybutynin along with antihistamines, you may have significant xerostomia. This condition can also be increased by other conditions like severe dehydration or any radiological procedures. Therefore, if you observe any significant dry mouth, you may reduce the dose of this medication. You can also chew sugarless gums or candies to minimize this xerostomia. Muscle weakness. Estel colon is required for contraction of the muscle and it is one of the important neurotransmitter in the parasympathetic system. It can be released at the neuromuscular junction and it acts on nicotinic estel colon receptors leading to muscle contraction. Even though oxybutynin is not directly affecting the nicotinic receptors, but still it can produce some muscle weakness. At the higher doses, the selectivity of oxybutynin may be reduced, resulting in anticholinergic effects on skeletal muscle. However, the muscle weakness produced by this medication is not significant in normal people. Therefore, this side effect is well tolerated. But in the people with any history of myasthenia gravis, the muscle weakness may be enhanced by use of oxybutynin. So if you have any muscle disorders or previous history of myasthenia gravis, use of oxybutynin may increase the risk. Effect on vision. This is another effect of oxybutynin due to its anticholinergic actions. Even though it is not significant, but this medication may increase your intraocular pressure that may result in some blurred vision and double vision. In people with narrow angle glaucoma, the rise in the intraocular pressure is more pronounced. Therefore, oxybutynin should be avoided in people with uncontrolled narrow angle glaucoma. Somnolence. Oxybutynin is intended for to be acting on bladder and it reduces the symptoms of overactive bladder. However, this medication can reach into your brain and it can produce few of the central effects. This medication can increase the sleepiness in the people and reduce the mental alertness. This somnolence can be increased if you are going to take other CNS depressants or, or medications like sedatives. Excessive intake of alcohol can also increase the somnolence produced by this medication. Therefore, try to avoid other factors which increase sleepiness and reduce your alertness. Angioedema. Oxybutynin can produce one of the condition angioedema that can be observed on the first or subsequent dose of oxybutynin when it is taken by oral route. This may result in swelling of face, tongue, pharynx, even it may also result in difficulty swallowing. It can also produce difficulty breathing. This is a hypersensitive reaction that can be observed with use of oxybutynin. Therefore, if you observe any symptoms of angioedema, this medication should be discontinued and it should be immediately treated to avoid fatal conditions. What are the common side effects? Oxybutynin can produce one of the common side effects that is a xerostomia dry mouth in the people. It can also increase the risk of urinary tract infections due to increased urinary retention. Even it can produce application site reactions leading to itching and swelling. Lightheadedness, fatigue and constipation can be commonly observed with use of oxybutynin. Many of these side effects are related to its anticholinergic actions which are less pronounced when it is used by topical route. So that's all about this medication oxybutynin. I hope this video is useful to you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.